All right, so we finished up the painting and it turned out pretty good for the uh, cafe build. But as you can see right here, I got a paint run. And that comes from coming over the same area twice and then you end up with too much clear. So fortunately it's in the clear and uh, we can get it out. If it was a flat surface, you could use a razor and scrape across it if it was flat, but this is on a rounded surface. And so that's a little bit risky because you'll cut right through your clear. So what I want to do is actually get some clear tape and I'm going to fold the ends over so I can take it back off pretty easy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask everything, including the run. And what I want to do is get it as smooth as possible, even with the run. Kind of stretch it a little bit. And then that way, when I do my sanding, I won't sand too far. I'll be able to tell that I'm getting into my tape. So we try to push out as much as possible on the tape so it's flat right at the run, except for where it's bubbled up around the run. Can't do much about that. Let's get it all flattened out as good as possible. And then that kind of highlights where your run is too. Alright, so let's cover up the other side. Alright, so to do this, what we're going to need is some 320. And so let's just get us a little piece of 320 here. And I'm just going to use a couple of little rubber blocks. I'll start with the big block to do the 320 and then we'll move to the little block. Okay, so all we want to do is wet this thing down. And we're going to cut right through the tape and everything with the 320. So just start, and you always want to stay on the high side because that's where it's the thickest. If you get down here, you're liable to cut through clear. So always on the round surface, kind of stay up on the high side. And all we're going to do is come in here and cut through our tape and then start cutting that run out. So my angle is like that. I'm up on the high side of the run. All I want to do is just keep bringing it down. You'll see the tape build up on your sandpaper. But it'll cut on through that tape pretty quick. I try to push upward, that way I can kind of see where I am. And then as I'm getting tighter, I'm gonna to switch to the side of the block. That way I can work just across the top of those two runs. Because they're right beside each other. And I wanna stay up on top of the run. There we go. So we're almost flattened down. You can see the tape went away right around it and so it's really close to it. So now at this point we want to take our tape off and you'll see where it cut through on the run. But it didn't damage any of the other surface and so basically now the run is the same level as the thickness of this tape. Right there. So the run's a lot lower, a little bit of edge right there. If I'm concerned I didn't get down low enough, <clears throat> I can always come back, we'll dry it off. And you can see right here, I could go a little lower with that one and a little lower on that corner, so. Let me put another piece of tape on and we'll do it again and you'll see the difference this time the tape 
is a little closer to the surface. That's looking a lot better. So now is where the finesse comes in. So you've gotten it all down to the same level. So now we switch over to some 600 and we're gonna switch to the little block. All right, so now we're at risk of cutting into anything down here. So we for sure got to stay up top. And what we want to do is feather in until this starts to disappear. And so let's wait her down. We don't have the tape helping us anymore. So what we want to do is always work upward and we're going to work the rest of that run off. Make sure you stay up on the upper side of the run. You don't want to get down low. You want to work your way in on the upper side. Almost there. As you can see, it's virtually gone. Once you get to the point <clears throat> that you can just barely see it, and at that point you stop because you should be able to get the rest of it out with a buff. If not, you can come back in and do it again. So, as you can see, I just have the faintest little outline of that left. So since it's only been 24 hours, that clear run was really, really thick. So that paint down inside of there may not be fully cured out. So at this point, you don't want to hit it with a buffer. You got to treat it like you got to wait the 12 hours to buff it out. So we got it down. It looks pretty smooth. Got a, just a little bit of edge left. Not too concerning. Now I want to stop because that last little bit will go ahead and cure. And then I can knock the rest of that down, buff it, and I'll be done. All right, so about six hours has gone by, and so that should be enough time for what we cut off there to cure out. So now we can finish up with uh, cutting away the rest of it. So I got my little bitty sanding block again and some 600. I'm going to sand this time. We'll wet it down. You can see it almost disappears when you wet it, so now you got to really look for it. Now this time I'm going to go from the top down and I'm going to work just on the top right here where it comes in. We got all that, we'll get it wiped off and we're going to hit it with a buffer. Alright, so we're down pretty low. And just a hardly just a faint little bit left right there. So now it's time to get out the uh, cutting compound. Cut all that off and watch it disappear. I'm just putting a few dots right around the edges because all we're going to use is the edge of this just to cut this off real quick. Get that rubbed in with our fingers. All right, so let's see if we can cut this out of here. that off see just a little bit of faintness so what I'll do now that I got it cut I'll come back and I will take those edges off right there now that I can see something see where we are let's come across here that dry for a second and it'll reveal what's left of the runs. So 
Now let's switch over to our buffer. And we put a few dots on our corners. Now let's hit it with the polishing pad and it should be just All right, so after uh, cutting it and then buffing it, we're in pretty good shape. Got our shine back. You can see just a little bit of variation uh, right around here in it. There's just a little bit of wiggle in the light when you move around. And unless you knew that those little marks were right there, you never would see them again.